Hey Roaches, Blubber here, and welcome to a brand new video. Before we hop in, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and let's hop right into the video. Now, as we are hopping into this video, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what is this video about? It's basically like crazy cars in Greenville. Now, the criteria was no limited vehicles, and try to like do diversify the list, if that makes sense. So each of these cars has something unique to them that most cars in Greenville do not have. And yeah, let's hop on with our list. I've chosen five cars for this, and I have time stamps down below. Let's hop right in. Alright guys, for number one, we have the 1984 Felfire Reina. This is the GTS trim. This car will cost you $18,000, and it will require you the classic Game Pass. Now, let's get in this car. I'm going to go over its cool feature, then let's take it for a general drive and kind of go over what it has to offer. Now, real quick, what this car has to offer. Uh, if you hold down G on your keyboard, it's going to play this really cool sound. Yeah, really cool. It's like the initial D soundtrack, which is like pretty sick. And yeah, this car is actually pretty aggressive. It does have pop-up headlights, which are really big, but I'm pretty sure they are that big on the car in real life. And this car did release when the revamp originally came out, so the model is not super up to date, but I think it's held out pretty well, if you ask me. And it sounds really good. Yeah, let's take it for a general drive really quick. This thing is actually pretty aggressive for like its price and like for it being, you know, what it is. Here, let's do a quick turn here has working blinkers, all that type of stuff, nice headlights. Okay, and let's just see what the way, let's see how fast this thing accelerates. Uh, my speed tests are not precise at all, it's just a general feel and drive. So 123 miles per hour, quick brake. Really good braking, but it's not really smooth at all. And yeah, let's hop on to our next car. Alright guys, next up we have the 1989 Navarra Horizon. This is the R trim. This car will cost you $54,000. It's a R32 Skyline, if you can tell and this will require you the classic game pass. Let's hop right into the car and what it has to offer. So right off the bat, one thing that is really weird about this car is it is actually left hand, I mean right hand drive. So you hop in on the right side and yeah, that means this car was imported from Japan because this car was not sold in the US. So that's pretty good when you start up as well, but let's go over this cool thing that this car has to add that has to offer, not has to add. If you hold down G, just like the previous car, you're gonna hear this sound. Never wonder what that is. That is Godzilla because that is like a nickname for this car. It's Godzilla because it's a really cool, powerful vehicle. And yeah, it's just a really cool fact about it here. Let's get on the road. This car is really fast and it does have four wheel drive turning. So, like, look at the back wheels. See, they also turn as well, which is super cool. I think this was like the first car in the game to actually have that feature. I know a lot of Audis have it now. But yeah, a really cool car and yeah, really sick. And here, let's take a. Uh, right turn. I think I don't think we'll be able to hit the top seat going that way. Okay, let's see. We, let's see what we can get it up to real quick though. Pretty decent acceleration. Cars like we're being hazards, everything like that. Nice horn. And headlights too. Oh my! I hit an invisible block. Oh my god! Greenville, please fix like these invisible boxes everywhere because they are really annoying when I'm trying to do my speed test. Anyways, sorry about that. Let's see. What, let's see what we can get it up to. So, pretty good acceleration. I think this might be around like the 150 mark. Let's see. 153 miles per hour quick brake test. Pretty, ah, uh, it, was, it was okay braking. Not the smoothest, not not too bad though, especially for the car's age. And yeah, pretty good vehicle. Let's hop on to number three in our list. Alright guys, next up we have the 2022 BKM E Proton. This is the M60 KD line trim. This vehicle will cost you $145,000 and it will require the electric game pass. Let's hop in and see what this car has to offer for us. Now, for this vehicle, the one thing that's really unique about it is it doesn't, you don't have to hold down G, or the horn itself is what's interesting. But here, I'll quickly play it. Yeah, the horn is a pig, which is really funny, really cool. And that is what's really cool and unique about this vehicle over here. Let's go on the road, let's take a right here. Otherwise, this vehicle is like really cool. And if you don't want the big noise, you can literally like get a no normal trim. Because this vehicle is really fast, super fast acceleration. Let's see what the top speed is real quick, though. Come car, please hit top speed. 146. 140, okay, okay, let's do a quick brake test. Very, very smooth braking. We were going to fall off the map, we kept on going. So it's around the 150 mark, that's what I'm going to say. That's like our rough guess. Nice blinkers and everything. And again, the pig horn. And pretty nice headlights, all that type of stuff. And yeah, let's hop on to our next car. I guess next up we have the 2022 Reload Voltage. This is the 6.2 Supercharged Trim. This vehicle will cost you $145,000, and it does require you the electric game pass. Let's hop right in. So even though this vehicle is actually not electric, it still does require the electric game pass, which is kind of interesting. 
If you're wondering, it's a Tesla Model S, but it has an engine, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that's the reason why this car is on the list is because it's like the only electric vehicle converted into a gasoline vehicle. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, let's get this thing right on the road and do everything. Very aggressive car, if you ask me. And here, very nice working blinkers. Pretty decent horn. Oh, geez, we missed our turn. And yeah, okay, let's do a quick speed test, though, and just see what we can get this thing up to. So this vehicle is not the... Like, it's pretty fast. It's nothing crazy, though. I, actually, it is kind of crazy, but here. Okay, it looks like we're going to be able to get up to the, around the 180 mark, so let's see if we can reach that. 182 miles per hour. Quick brake test. Not the smoothest braking, but it's pretty decent for us going 180 miles per hour. And yeah, pretty cool car. Let's hop on to our final car. Alright guys, the final car on the list here is the 2022 Western Synth. This is the E3 MX Qua Quadratorque SUV trim. This will cost you $88,250 and this will also require the, the, the electric game pass. I cannot speak today. I am so sorry guys. But yeah, let's hop right into this vehicle. So there's this A electric vehicle and this car is also fictional. I'm going to disable, disable my shaders for this because the cool feature requires your numpad. I don't know any other way besides using numpad. So let's press 1. We get this cool face. Two, another face. Three, there we go. Four, another one. Five, another one. Six, another one. Seven, another one. Eight, another one. And nine, another one. And yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, this is the only car in the game to actually have faces, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I feel how I feel about them. I don't. I I don't know. They're for sure unique. I just I don't think like you know kind of ruins the atmosphere. I guess of like the realism aspect. But again, it is a video game. So you also got to consider that. Okay, let's hop into this vehicle and go over what it has to offer performance-wise. Alrighty, so let's get this thing on the road. This car has a really cool sound though, but the tailet is super, super ugly. Okay, let's go get on the main road though. It has an okay turning radius for its size. This is what the blinkers look like, which is kind of cool. And if we put on the right one. I, I feel like that's kind of confusing for drivers behind you, but they, they'll eventually figure it out, you know, not not your problem, it's their problem. But yeah, and also, they're, the headlights are really cool. I, I don't know, I don't know, I just like it, and I like how like it kind of goes inward, that's pretty cool. But here, let's do a quick break, we're going to do a quick launch. Okay. It's just a pretty decently fast launch, let's see what the top speed is real quick though. Oh yeah, and here's the horn. Alrighty, so top speed looks like it is going to be around the 130 mark. Let's see what we can precisely get up to, though. Okay, we're still climbing. 127, 128. Can we get 129? Yep, 129. Okay, we're dropping a little bit. Okay, I want to see if we can get up to 130. That's my goal real quick. So let's head down the hill a tiny bit and see if we can get 130. 130. Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna Let's see if we maintain the speed, though. Looks like 137, 136 is the absolute top speed for the vehicle. Quick brake test. Very, very smooth braking. Pretty decently fast. And yeah, pretty good vehicle. Let's hop onto our outro though. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And let me know what videos you want to see down below in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.